What's up, Nail Geeks? I am back with Quixotic Polish's brand spanking new collection. This is the Comeback Collection, which features four striking shimmers, a flaky curly, and a flaky topper. These are so shifty and so stinking pretty, so let's dive right in. First up, we have Beyond the Sea. This is a delicate aqua base packed with stunning magenta to gold to green shifting shimmer. This one is 12 currently in the shop. So this has a somewhat crelly-like formula. It's got quite a bit of a squish factor on your brush strokes, and for opacity, I'm gonna suggest three coats on it. Now, if you have shorties, then you might be able to get away with two coats, but personally, I think three coats really plumps this one out and really maximizes that shimmer um, happening here. So in bright lights and indoor lighting, you'll see that gorgeous pinky, almost fuchsia-like glow with it. Now at angles, you'll easily see that gold and green shift come out to play with the shimmer. Um, it's very noticeable in person, very, very pretty. And you can see here on that third coat, the buildup is wonderful. Now please note in very bright lights, I do have a prominent free edge, so I can see just a smidge of it in person. So if that bugs you, I would recommend some type of color correcting base coat, but in indoor lighting, it's not that noticeable. And next we have Morning Glory. This is a royal purple pastel multi-chrome that shifts pink to purple to deep hues of blue. This one is also 12 in the shop. So I just wanted to note that this is incredibly shifty in person. Uh, I feel like my bright lights are giving you that more blue type of tone, almost a blurple, but... I took my hand away from my light box and it was just glowing like crazy. So easy, easy shifts over to a pink type of um, shimmery effect. And at some angles, a really nice luminous purple too. So this is just crazy, crazy shifty, really glowy type of shade. And for opacity, I'm gonna suggest between two and three coats. Now here on the second coat, you can see I've got really good opacity happening, but I wanted to see how well I could deepen out that multi-chrome pigment. And on the third coat, it plumped out very, very well. So I think three normal to thin coats on this one is gonna flatter it the best. And you'll see here in just a moment on the full hand shot, it's just got so much glow. I don't think my swatches did this one justice. Um, I'm gonna include some macro shots that I took at the end for the recap of the video, but um, definite, definite strong purple and blue and pink shift. And next we have Volatile. This is a stunning creamy indigo base packed with vibrant gold to green to blue shifting shimmer. This one is also 12 in the shop. So this is another one that is crazy, crazy luminous, very uh, ethereal type of glow with it. You can see that the base color is definitely um, a lovely indigo, but the shimmer here is just what takes over everything else. So in bright lights and in indoor lighting, you're gonna see what you see on the video, a very strong gold, almost greenish type of um, just overall glowy type of effect. And at angles, you'll easily see that nice green and strong blue shift. This one is another very, very shifty one. Now it does have a tendency to be just a touch streaky because it's so packed with shimmer. So this has excellent drying time. So just go in light on your brush strokes and you'll minimize any streaking and you'll just have this crazy strong shifty awesomeness on your nails. And here is First Love. This is a sweet light pink shimmer that shifts between shades of cyan to magenta to gold. This is intentionally sheer to let that vibrance of the shimmer show through. Now you can also use this as a topper over lighter colors and it pairs well with the topper in the collection, but more on that later. So this has a somewhat curly, mostly jelly-like feel on application. It's got quite a bit of squish to it, very similar to how we applied Beyond the Sea, that first one. And for opacity, I'm gonna suggest between two and three coats. Now, this is intentionally sheer, so you are gonna see just a touch of your smile line, depending on how prominent it is, but it's just so worth it. This is like a liquefied pearl, but to the second power. It's very strong on that luminous glow type of effect. And in bright lights, you'll see it like what you see on the video. Lots of pinky, almost lavenderish type of effect. Now at angles, you can easily see this gorgeous bluish type of magenta shade coming out. It's just super glowy, really nice. Now I think this one would be fantastic as a topper as well, but I'm extra and I wanna see what these polishes look like on their own. And you can see here, it's just gorgeous. And next we have Mylar Confetti. This is a sheer purple tinted base filled with delicate sprinkling of red to orange Aurora Shimmer and a heavy helping of orange to gold to green iridescent flakes. 
This can be used as a topper or worn alone. So again, I'm extra. I want to see if something is stated as being able to be worn on its own. Of course, I'm going to do that. Now, this is incredible. I love these flakes so much. They definitely remind me of um, like a mylar type of uh, material and there's so much in here. So I went in just a little bit light on the first coat when wearing it alone. And then I'm going in with what we are now dubbing the icing method. And you wanna pull a little bit of a bead near your cuticles and then gently pull it out. And you'll see you get so much coverage from this. Of course, you can see your smile line, but this is so, so um, luminous. And it just reminds me of if you crushed nailed foils, this is what it would look like. It's really strong and just crazy shifty in person. And finally, we have Uncut Gems. This is a dusky grayed out teal, absolutely packed with orange to gold to green iridescent flakes. I was a little nervous on this one, how it was gonna come out on the video, my swatches, but I do feel like the video and my swatches came out pretty color accurate to what I'm seeing in person, especially the video. Um, this is a lovely, definite dusky type of teal, and the formula is very creamy on application. So for the most part, I think two coats is gonna be just fine. Now, if you polish lightly, or if you have somewhat longer nails than myself, you might need a third coat, really gonna depend on how you apply, but for the most part, this builds up very lovely and those flakes are crazy strong. So they are similar to the Mylar Confetti Topper, um, just really, really luminous. Now in bright lights, you get that nice copper red effect and easy, easy shift over to green, which is what you're seeing on the video. Just really lovely. Now this one, I would recommend a good glossy top coat and you'll get everything sealed in and awesome looking. Now the Comeback Collection is currently available in Quixotic's shop. These did release last night. You can grab the full collection for 65 for a savings of four off the full set, or of course you can grab them individually. I'll link you guys below to Quixotic's website if you wanna check that out and what's going on in there, and the Facebook fan group if you'd like additional swatches and all that good stuff. These are so pretty. So very shifty. Um, several of them I pulled my hand out of the light box and I was like, just wow, lots and lots of shift. I'm really digging the shimmers and that topper is fantastic. Definitely one you wanna see in person. So I've got a busy weekend planned ahead for you guys. Stay tuned because I'll have polish pickup up next. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.